All right, let's call the meeting to order at 7 p.m. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, everyone, for coming to today's Port Ranch Neighborhood Council meeting. My name is Gabriel Callan, and I'm the president of the council. I have a few announcements to make. This meeting is being recorded, and the recording will be available on our PRNC YouTube page, as well as our webpage, prnc.org. All meeting attendees will be automatically muted when they join the meeting. Attendees may address the board in one or two situations, comment on agenda item, or provide general public comment. After each agenda item is read out loud and before a board vote is taken on any item, I will ask if any members of the public wishes to address the board regarding the agenda item being considered. At that time, the meeting attendees can electronically raise their hand to speak by pressing star nine if they're using a telephone for audio or clicking the raise your hand button on Zoom. That will prompt the presiding officer that you wish to speak. I will go down the list of those who raise their hands, turn on their audio one at a time and ask them to go ahead and provide a public comment within a specific time period. When the speaker's time expires, I will let the speaker know their time has expired, thank them for their comment and turn off the audio for the speaker. This process will continue until all attendees who raised their hands spoke. At that time, the board will discuss the motion and take a vote if they choose so. As noted in the meeting agenda, there is a dedicated item to public comments on items not on the agenda, but within the preview of the board. When the items come up during the course of the meeting, I will ask if any member of the public wishes to address the board regarding any issues that are not on the agenda, but is within the board's preview. At that time, the meeting attendees can electronically raise their hand to speak using the same procedures described above. Please note that under the Brown Act, the board is prevented from discussing or acting on a matter that is brought to its attention in a, during, during a public comment period. However, the issue raised by a member of the board or the public actually may become the subject of a future board meeting. Public comments is limited to two minutes per speaker unless adjusted by the presiding officer at his, his or own discretion. Let's move on to roll call. <clears throat> All right, David Lasher. David, how are you? Muted. He's muted. He's in theory. Let's give him at the moment until he answers. David Balin. He's absent. Hilda. Here. Thank you, Jason. Jason is absent. Lewis. Gabriel is frozen. Sorry, I'm here. No worries. I got you here. Thank you. Uh, Becky? Please. Here. Thank, Thank you, Mark. Randy. Here. And look for yourself, please. Thank you, Jennifer. I'm here. Thank you. One second. Boss? Here. Christine? Once. Thank you. One second. <laughs> Absent, Gabriel here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here, four absent. We have a quorum, we can move on. Next is Pledge of Allegiance. Everybody can stand up. And let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice, and justice for, all. for all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Updates from representatives of elected officials or city departments. I see none present. Next item is public comments on items not on the agenda and within the purview of the board. Any uh, attendees that want to speak? No, thank you. Let's move on to the next item. Motion, I wanna make a motion to nominate Becky Levesque to be a co-secretary. Second. Who seconded that? Randy. Randy. Thank you, one second. Any comments? No, that was too easy. One second, let's call the vote. David Lasher. He left. Disappeared. Probably absent. was dropped. Probably. David Balin? Absent. Hilda? Yes. Thank you. Jason is absent. Lewis? 
Absent Becky. Yes. Thank you, I Brandy. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jennifer. Yes. Thank you, Voss. Yes. Christine is absent. Gabriel, yes. And David Lasher. I am back. I, uh, Zoom crashed for some reason. I'm here. No worries. Uh, the, we're voting on Becky as uh, co co secretary. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, David. Welcome. And motion passes. Congratulations, Becky. Woo! I will, I will, okay. set, I will set a meeting up between you, me, and Christine. And I'll get all the chores. <laughs> Condolences, okay. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank and you. I'm, I'm still willing to be a backup to help with the website. So thank you. No, uh, we'll definitely work together on getting everything up and going. Especially now that it's summer, there's gonna be a lot of things coming up. Okay. Next item is motion to approve up to four thousand dollars for outreach to purchase shirts, visors, pens, notepads, etc. for event giveaways. Do I have a second? I second. Thank you. Any comments or questions? Yeah. Do Do we have kind of a, a, a an outline of what exactly it is she's getting? Uh, pretty much at the moment, all the stuff that we had in the past, we want to replenish and get rid of the junk stuff we had, like the bracelets and etc. Okay. That most companies do not give out, and that's why the motion is up to four thousand uh, dollars. We have to price everything out and. Uh, Keep it within budget, and we're probably going to be way under budget. Honestly. Okay. I know the bottles were historically popular, as was <laughs> the uh, hand sanitizer at one point. Correct. <laughs> uh, yeah, in the beginning, we got those hand sanitizers on perfect timing. It was yeah. literally right before COVID, if you remember. <laughs> yep. That was just amazing timing. I'm not sure how that one happened, but it did. Uh, I am open for ideas, though. Uh, if you want to discuss that while the topic is open, what idea, what do you think are great for giveaways on the spinner wheel and etc. The bottles, uh, the those are, those are the two biggest things was the bottles and the hand sanitizer. The metal those bottles you're talking about? Yeah, those metal bottles were always super popular. Everybody wanted those. Right. The issue with the metal, we can look at that. The issue with that was the price. I think they were like thirteen dollars yeah. each or something like that. And you know, maybe we can find things like that like maybe there's uh other versions that aren't from the same company I agree. Um, but you, that go ahead. No, i was gonna say do you care if it's metal or plastic or you're dedicated to the metal i sure don't care but what i what i would say is a stronger preference on my end is that we get whatever we get that is um dishwasher safe because that's yeah that's the big problem that people have Absolutely. um yeah. Uh, the only other thing I would say is t-shirts don't seem to be terribly popular. Um, they're almost never properly sized for whoever gets them. And people don't wear them as much as we'd like them to. That's very true. Very true. Hats, however, <laughs> we get a I lot of sunny days. I don't hats see are, the hats okay. in this one. Sorry, Voss, what did you say? I don't, I don't see the hats, the item you mentioned before. We had, we had hats. Uh, Four years ago, I think we ran out and never ordered again, and then COVID hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Any other suggestions from what the about the pens? I... Becky was saying be uh, pens with the soft tip. Remember? Yes. Pens. Yeah, had... those These... are nice. Pens are good. Where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are good with our logo on there. Will be great, I think. We had yeah. these pens right here that had the stylus end on it. Nice. Yeah, like and, these. And then we also had these pens like this i don't know if you can see them which ones do you like more or do you like either way and i see hilda showing a pen well this one is mercedes so we can't compare right <laughs> so is this one do you yeah. care if it's uh, with a stylus or without a stylus on it have both give one of each okay i think i think it should have a stylus because it it serves two purposes if we order some and, and i have a place where we can order them excellent what we should not get is mouse pads because fewer people use mouse pads these days. Is no what? Mouse pads. Yeah, mouse, mouse pads. pads. What what might be good if we can think of appropriate useful content, a refrigerator magnet that has something that is consistently usable, like uh, uh, 
numbers you can call for the city or county or something like we that. Have, we have we those. Have about, we Hilda, have Hilda, tell her. Yeah, yeah, we have those. I saw them at the, remember? We just yeah, do storage. update them. We have about the a thousand, 500 to 1,000 of them in stock. Okay, yeah. good. But we can always order more new stylish, yeah. new information, et cetera. Yeah. Once that, well, our goal is in the next two events coming up, one is that Carnival Knowledge on Thursday, I believe, and then the street mm -hmm. fair on the 9th. The goal is to give away almost everything we have so we can start fresh. So we're mm -hmm. pretty much not going to okay. have anything in stock mm -hmm. after these two events Cool. coming up. Uh, Mike has a comment to make. Mike, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Um, wanted to let you know uh, some of the things that Granada Hill South is doing. Sure. Uh, you know, you have those things to do, notepads, which right. uh, they're 25 per pad, and you can get thousands of them pretty cheap. Uh, that'll keep uh, the council in, on the forefront of people's minds for a long time. We're uh, also doing calendars. So as you flip over each month, you're still stuck with our logo and our name and whatnot. Uh, we also are working, uh, actually, we already have them. I have uh, several thousand of uh, license plate uh, outlines that has Granada Hill South on it. And people drive around, they put it on the back of their cars, and people see that for years to come. Oh, nice. That's a different one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the giveaways, Mike, and uh, let's say street fairs, what do you give away most? Oh, well, we give a lot of balloons away. We have emergency kits. We have chip clips. We have pens as well. Uh, we have fans so people can fan themselves in the heat. Uh, I, I, I can send you all of the information as to what we carry, plus uh, who to buy them from if you like. Sounds good. I appreciate that. Thank you. You bet. I wonder if we get the pads printed by the city's printing office. That would probably be very uh, much more affordable. Uh, they do have a whole full uh, printing department. Uh, I'll look into that. I know that our business cards, for example, going through the city's department costs us about 1,000% more than regular stores. Literally, we pay, two, we pay I think, 40 or $50 for 200 business cards when I can go to a business card shop and print 1,000 cards for $20 or $30. Surprising. But, but then again, uh, it could be different for... Yeah, we need the city logo then. Stuff city logo we need that one and right. uh, so that's they, have, they have the perfect into. one the city printing has the perfect one yeah we'll look into it maybe they have a different printing department for uh other stuff other than business cards so definitely interested uh in expanding out what we have right now because like the bracelets that we have we have thousands of bracelets and those bracelets pretty much who's going to wear them you know the kids might wear them at the carnival of knowledge maybe and well, honestly, who's going to wear them at the end of the day? Uh, hey, I don't bracelets. I, I'm not familiar with the bracelet. It said, it said Porter Ranch on it. Just plastic bracelets. Just plastic little bracelets. You'll see them at events coming up, the two events coming up. But they're literally want, something I'll stay away from, at least. You want outside the box thought? Yes. Um, we could We could see about putting together a Porter Ranch coloring book for kids. Oh, great idea. I like it. With E.T. Park featured and wow. the caterpillar. That's what I was. That's what I was thinking. And we could we we could maybe even do a contest with the local schools and get some of the kids to actually draw the drawings that we put I in like the book. It. And the calendar, of course, should have my picture big blown yeah. up on every mm -hmm. single page, right? Yeah, only Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel, but you have I to be wearing that. a bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> every every month will be different for you. <laughs> Every month is Gabriel in a different swimming suit. <laughs> I, I want to hang it up myself, though. Sorry. <laughs> but I guess we can. Oh, hello, go. little one. Behind you, Gabriel. <laughs> All right. I guess let's move ahead and call the vote. Uh, David Asher. Yes. Thank you. David Balin. Absent. Hilda. Yes. Thank you. Jason is absent. Lewis is absent. Absent, Becky? Yes. Thank you, Brandy? Mm, yes. Awesome. Jennifer? Yes. Thank you, Voss? You're muted. Yes. Awesome. Christine is absent. Gabriel, yes. 
awesome and the most motion passes. Right. Uh, one quick question before I announce the next meeting and adjourn. Who can work at either of the events, especially the street fair coming up this Saturday? What time is the street fair, right? To each on Saturday. Uh, the setup is 8 to 10. The booth is from 10 to 6. And knockdown is at 6.30. <sighs> so far, I know. I think Hilda and Becky are coming 2 to 4. Is that correct? Yeah. And yeah. then... I believe he hasn't confirmed yet. David Bailey and Lewis said they'll be there 10 to 12, but I'm not 100% sure they haven't reconfirmed. I'm sure it'll help from like 12 to 2 or 12 to 1. 12, okay, that'll be great. If you can come, I'll let you know. Just message me. I'll give you the exact booth number. Okay. Uh, whatever you can do is well appreciated. Great. And we need someone for 4 to 6, right? Four to six, I'll be there throughout the whole day, but the more help, the better, especially setting up and knocking down and et cetera. So even if you don't tell me you're coming, if you come, that'd be great. Um, because I think the Carnival of Knowledge, it's two hours and we have, we're good on that one. I'll be there. And then we have next event coming up after that, which we haven't talked about because we might have paid for it, which will come to the board, which will be the LAPD, LAE. FD event at the vineyards, but that's in May at some point. So we'll discuss that in a future time. Um, next meeting is on April 13th. And anybody want to add anything before we adjourn? I'll check my schedule to see if I can try to come early for the Saturday, but I may have to just get to Burbank quickly. Okay. So yeah, anytime you can just text me or just show up, that would be appreciated. Definitely. Okay. I'll try. All right, let's adjourn the meeting at 7 17 p.m. That was the wow. quickest meeting ever. Wow. Had. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for attending. Thank you, and Mike. You don't even have to be here. <laughs> see you soon. I take care. We'll see you soon. Definitely. Thank you. Bye, Bye. Thank Bye everyone. You. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Stay safe. Bye.